hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're taking a look at Azure Active Directory, also known as Azure AD, and it's Microsoft's cloud-based identity and access management service, which helps your employees sign in and access resources. It's going to help us both externally and with internal resources. So on the external side, we're looking at Microsoft 365, the Azure portal, and SaaS applications. And for internal resources, we have applications that reside within your internal network and access to workstations that may reside on premise. One of the best features of Azure AD is single sign-on. That's what a lot of companies want it for. In terms of what types of Azure Active Directory there are, it's broken down to four editions, with each subsequent tier having all the features of the previous tier. And so we have the free tier where you get multi-factor authentication, single sign-on, basic security, and usage reports, and user management. We have Office 365 apps. So that will give you a company branding, service level agreement, two sync between on-premises and cloud. And the last two, I want you to take note of because we do mention some of the features in this course for these two tiers is Premium 1 and Premium 2, also commonly abbreviated to P1 and P2. So you have hybrid architecture, advanced group access, and conditional access. And for Premium 2, you have identity protection, identity governance. So again, as we move up the tier, each of the previous tier has all the features of the prior one. So Premium 2 has all the features of Premium 1, in terms of the use case for Azure AD, it's for authorizing and authenticating to multiple sources. So you can authorize and authenticate to your on-premises Active Directory to your web application. It allows users to log in with their identity provider, IDP, like Facebook or Google. And you can connect to Microsoft 365 or Microsoft Azure. Azure AD takes care of all this stuff. And so when we're looking at hybrid connections, we're talking about Azure AD Connect. When we're looking at integrating our applications, we're doing this through app registrations where we have the B2C service. And then you have external identities. So that's going to be for your identity providers. And you can also easily integrate with cloud applications. There's no particular service or subservice for that. Azure AD naturally does that for you. So let's look at the comparison between Active Directory versus Azure Active Directory because they're not the same thing. So Active Directory has been around for quite a long time. Microsoft introduced Active Directory to main services in Windows 2000 to give organizations the ability to manage multiple on-premises infrastructure components and systems using a single identity per user. And so Azure AD takes this approach to the next level by providing organizations with an identity as a service solution for their apps across cloud and on-premises. So both versions are still used to this day. So there's Active Directory, which is used for on-premises, and there's Azure AD, which is the cloud version. And so we see a lot of companies might want to migrate over to Azure AD, or they might have a particular legacy licensing that makes it more cost-effective, or there might be certain security compliances, and that's why they're not using Azure AD. So both of these are still valid products, just different use cases.